hello this uh, video is gonna be without uh, the camera because you know i feel ugly and gross <laughs> i just don't want to be on camera right now so this uh, video is gonna be about it's gonna be shorter and it's gonna be about uh, the delta handling so we handle delta and um, I've written this uh, test code uh, when we were implementing uh, keyboard input um, so basically we move our <clears throat> uh, kind of character uh, throughout the space with our um, you know keys and here we uh, basically change the positions and we change it by 10 um, so we're actually not using delta uh, and what this means well first off let me um, wait this is up way down is s uh, left is a and right is d <clears throat> WASD, I want that kind of control, so let's run this code. Um, so here we're moving our rectangle and here is our delta, print it out. Um, the problem uh, with this movement is that we're not actually using our delta. Um, so just for now, let's get rid of that uh, just comment that out and let's actually see how many fps uh, we're getting um, but we're gonna do that by actually counting the frames um, so we're gonna have static uh, and fps uh, or no frames equals zero and static um, so float um, uh, let's just call it time uh, past and set it to here and each frame we're gonna uh, record that well one frame and plus plus one frame and time passed uh, plus equals to delta and then we're gonna check if um, time passed uh, is more equals to one no one um, and what this means is so if uh, time passed uh, more than equals to one second because our delta is in seconds uh, so and what passed and and by the way static variables here uh, this means that um, they, they have global state but you can only access them inside of this function that we provide this function so when one second passes um, uh, what we want to do is uh, output frames basically uh, we're going to do that by doing um, frames uh, in a second no just fps and that's it and D for end, uh, because we're gonna pass in frames, and that's it. <clears throat> um, and time passed uh, minus equals one point F. So we uh, offset the time passed, and yeah. So basically, what this code does is it. Um, counts uh, the frames uh, oh and frames frames equals to zero so it counts the frames each frame it counts it and it also um, 
accumulates the delta and when uh, one second passes we're just printing out how many frames we had in that one second okay let's run this and you should see as you can see on uh, each second we get printing out uh, uh, frames so uh, for example in one particular instance we had FPS 150 and in another 180. What this means is that in one second we will update the game 150 times in that second. And what this means is that because we're not handling the delta is that um, the more FPS we have the faster uh, our character moves and the less FPS we have so the less updates uh, per second we have the slower our ga uh, game characters move and our game updates and that's uh, of course unacceptable so let's handle delta uh, here multiplied by delta right uh, and everywhere else and I'll show you the problem with that as well. So here now we handle delta, uh, but as you can see, well, I can't even move right or down. I can only move up and here. Um, so <laughs> it's already kind of like uh, broken, right? But let's just try to increase the speed. Um, yeah, as you can see, like I move up faster than I can move down and uh, I move much slower to the right than I can to the left. Like this is all broken. Uh, that's because uh, we use as coordinates int. This value uh, gets converted to int and the fraction part um, just is negated but uh, it, it shouldn't be because our delta is float and uh, so we're losing information basically the reason why we move uh, when we move left it goes faster is because when we move left we uh, subtract uh, and with subtraction so when uh, uh, float gets converted to end um, the fraction part just uh, is thrown out so um, for example uh, say uh, our position at first is 10 and uh, we try to move uh, right so we plus uh, and 100 uh, multiplied by delta in a particular uh, game update uh, will uh, be 0.8 so uh, our position should be 10.8 right but uh, the float is being converted uh, into uh, int and basically this fraction part uh, just erase is being erased so we lose that information and we get 10 um, so it's as if we haven't moved uh, even though we did you know and the reason why uh, when we go left uh, it's uh, faster is because say we have weird position of x10 uh, and we minus and this value let's see will be equal to 0 0.01 uh, and this equals to 9.1 uh, 99 right let's even do one why not okay <clears throat> and this uh, will get converted from float to end to be nine so uh, say we pressed uh, the right key the D key and uh, uh, 100 multiplied by delta uh, in that particular frame is 0 0.8 but we still got 10 because it converted it to 10 and 
so we haven't moved at all and when we go left uh, we should have moved 0.1 pixel right but we can't move 0.1 pixel uh, we convert it to end and it's as if we moved one whole pixel but that's wrong because well we've we should have only moved 0.1 pixel um, so that's uh, what I'm talking about uh, that's the conversion uh, basically the conversion uh, fucks it all up for us so <laughs> we need to do something about it because right now like this is unacceptable at all so uh, and I see here I use uh, int, but even if we used, you know, float, it's still uh, this whole value gets converted to int because x is int and y is int. So it still doesn't really work properly. So um, the way we fix this is by making x and y float, right? So float and um, well then in fill rectangle it will probably give us an error. Yeah, conversion from float to int requires a narrowing conversion. Um, so in fill rectangle we have to basically convert x and y from float to end because fill rectangle takes in uh, rect uh, which is uh, all ends because well pixels are ends we cannot have fractions of pixels to output to the screen right um, so the way we do that is simply uh, even do this Load. Load. Let's see if that improved anything first. Yeah, it still doesn't like that. Uh, fill rectangle. Okay, maybe static cast. Uh, and oh, yeah. Just have to do int. And as you can see now, uh, it moves smoother, mu much more smoothly. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that's it. I think uh, we could even go further and uh, do this plus 0.5f uh, in here. Um, so that, uh, for example, uh, if uh, R X is equals to equals to three point four F, um, without plus point five, it will uh, be equal to three, uh, and which is okay because three point four uh, that's fine. Uh, but we may have 3.8 for example and it will still equal 3 even though it's much closer to 4 but by uh, adding 0 0.5 uh, to that uh, we will do it like that so if x equals 3.4 um, uh, then we will uh, uh, plus 0 0.5 and it will equal to 3.9 let's do that and it will get converted to 3 because 3.4 is closer to 3 than it is to 4 uh, but 3.8 is closer to uh, 4 so 3 3.8 plus 0.5 equals uh, 4.3 and it will get converted to 4.
so let's go get be even better uh it should be anyway uh and it, like it's hard to tell if there have been any changes but uh you can see that it's much much better than we previously had with all that uh you know uneven movement now it's more or less even so yeah uh this is it uh the main takeaway is that if we use ints to represent uh, the character's location uh, when we use delta we will uh, lose some information on each frame and it's bad <laughs> Uh, but if we use floats uh, to represent our character's position, then uh, that information will be will not be lost because um, you know we will uh, hold on to the fraction part, uh, so it will not be lost. Yeah, that's it. Okay, bye.